Pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transverse Truck Trailer RV. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Today we got a really nice unit behind me. It's a 2022 Ram 3500 Limited Dually. So there's a lot of words in that one. <laughs> Very nice unit. It is the blacked out package or they call it the, the, the night package. Um, we're going to go over some of the features like we normally do here. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. My number will be at the bottom of the screen right now and at the end of the video. Uh, feel free to reach out, text, email, call, whatever um, is good for you. So let's take a look, good look at this beautiful, beautiful unit. Again, with the Ram Limited, it is one of the higher trim levels on the Ram side. Uh, some of the features to look for with this particular one, because it is a night package, uh, you will see a lot of black areas in there that typically either chrome or color match to the vehicle's color but right up here as a grill you see it all blacked out this one does come with that 360 camera view so one of those cameras are underneath that air sign and then you have cameras on either side of that tour mirrors and then you have a couple cameras in the back as well i'll show you guys what the view looks like inside the vehicle but <clears throat> to let you know how you get that surround view uh, those four cameras on either side and then you have that additional camera for the bed down here you have uh, those little circles you see on that bumper those are your front sensors and this one will include the rear sensors as well led headlamps and fog lamps guys at, at night this is amazing i like the look of it at night it, it does bring out that bluish white color um, not just the orange the typical orange color on the on the bulbs um, so underneath the hood here you guys are looking at the high output engine. Uh, this one is a 6.7 liter L6 Cummins turbo diesel engine. It's also partnered with a six speed Iason transmission. Again, Iason is the top, top of the line uh, transmission on the Ram side. This unit produces 420 horsepower and about 1,075 foot pounds of torque. Again, guys, tr a quick little trick. Um, I know a lot of people are into those high input or high, high output um, units when it comes to the Ram 3500s. So for you to know if it's the ISN transmission or if it's just the regular transmission, if you are looking at the engine like I am doing right now, and on your right hand side you see that dipstick, that yellow dipstick, this is the ISN transmission. It's typically on the right side of that vehicle or right behind the steering wheel. If it's located on the left side, right in front of the passenger, it will be the regular six-speed automatic transmission. So that's a good way if you're going to a lot and they don't know offhand if it's the um, the ISN transmission or not. If you open up the hood, just ask them to open up the hood and then you will see exactly what type of transmission it is. Every single time on the right, ISN. So that means the right transmission. <laughs> and then on the left, I'm not saying it's the wrong transmission, but uh, it's just the lower output. <clears throat> This vehicle <clears throat> has been fully serviced for our local dealership in town. <clears throat> Those guys are always, always put us first whenever we have vehicles coming in. I um, want to thank those guys over there. But one of the cool things is whenever we take vehicles in for service, uh, we always look for recalls as well as anything that needs to be done. So we make them do a full inspection. Uh, they will give us a list of stuff that needs to be done. We'll go over those lists and then we'll typically do everything that they requested. Um, so I like when they talk, when they speak to us honestly, uh, when it comes to maintenance on, on those vehicles. If it does need it, they will give us that, yes, I recommend it right now. So again, with the recalls, all recalls that has been on those Rams recently, all of those has been done on this particular unit. So you don't have to worry about recalls on this particular unit. Unless if something comes out after this video, <laughs> then uh, that's the only recall I'll be needed. But apart from that, today is December 20th, 19th, 2023. So as of today, before this video, <laughs> all recalls has been done. So anything that come after that, um, we'll look into that. But the upgraded rims and tires, as you see, it is blacked out. Um, you do have Michelin tires. Those are 235 ADR17s. I had a call yesterday asking about this particular unit, so I wanted to kind of mention this. 
this one does have that air rear suspension so it does have that capability of lowering that rear air suspension if you're backing into your trailer so you do have that option on that one as you guys can see from the back end it is a dually so you do have dual wheels in the back and of course they're the same size with the front tires all right opening up <clears throat> the front door as you guys can see it does have the electric the electric steps once you close it up it will actually retract and uh, hide, hide itself so that's one of the cool features i love about that i actually added that to my truck i didn't have it i did it aftermarket but this is an awesome uh, feature inside all blacked out again guys pretty awesome again this unit is fully tinted so you don't have to worry about the heat going inside this vehicle and even though the heat is in there this truck does come with heated and vented seats so once you remote start that vehicle you will get that cool that cool down on the vehicle or if it's too cold it will warm up for you as well so that's some of the features i like with those remote start it is a limited so you do have that limited side on that center console and on the doors you got a few cup holders you got a nice little areas here to store smaller items but on the door driver door you have your power windows power locks powered mirrors you do have lights on your mirrors as well you also have folded mirrors if needed And of course, uh, memory seats. So this one had to reset, as you guys could see. Um, it was kind of off, so it did that reset, which is one of the cool features on this unit. I think it must have been bumped during, uh, during uh, detailing. So quick way to reset. Again, with the RAM Limited mats, one of the cool things about this is you could use them either during the winter you don't have to change them out at all. All you have to do is remove that cloth part. There, there, there's about five clips on here. You remove those <clears throat> very easily. You kind of get your finger underneath here. It's kind of cold. My fingers are kind of numb. <laughs> but you pop those out. As you guys can see, pure leather underneath. So you could wash this out if you end up walking in mud or whatever. Wash those mats off. Let it dry. During the winter, leave this at home in the garage. And then once winter is done, you could bring it back in, clip it on here, and then just vacuum it as needed throughout your, your journeys. Um, over here, all your light options. This one does have adjustable pedals. Underneath here does have a cargo switch here. So this switch here will turn on power in the bed of the truck. And I'll show you guys where that is located. Once you turn that on, it will send power to that 110 um, area in the bed. So you could plug in a little microwave, your computer, whatever the case may be. Whatever the, the amount of voltage that allows you to use back there, it will give you that power. I just locked. <laughs> Give me one second. Um, I apologize there. <clears throat> now as we open up the back seat. <clears throat> <clears throat> so in the back area here, you have the same type of mats. Again, if you want to do the full cover I recommend you do an aftermarket one, the Huskies or WeatherTech for the, to cover the whole center. But this one, again, does have that same capability of removing that cloth part and having the leather. But underneath here has that storage and it's removable. Underneath the seats, you do get some storage and then you do have that fold area here. So if you want a flat surface, you bring up those seats and you have that flat surface throughout except for the center it will have that cut out for cup holders so that's the only place you would not get that flat surface but again you have your animals back here or you want to put groceries you don't want to put it in the bed of the truck again it does come with a little light here as well so once you turn that pull up that seat <clears throat> you get some light in you got storage in the back here in that center you have a few charging options USB, USB-C, 110, and of course those back seats are heated. Like I said, it is a limited package, so you do have tons of features. <clears throat> you do have the upgraded sound. Back here, you get access to your def tank and your diesel tank. 
this one does take about 50 gallons of diesel and one of the good things about shopping with Transwest, we do fill, up, fill this up to the brim for you guys. So you will get a full tank of gas or fuel or diesel with any purchase you do with us. Again, it is the limited. So everything here is night package or blacked out. The limited sign, the Ram sign, and of course the 4x4. This one does come in for bumper pull hitch with your 7 pin and 4 pin hookup. Backup camera, so this is the fourth camera. One in the front, two on the side mirrors, and one back here. That will give you that 360 view. Soft clothes. This one does come with the tow package. So that's one of the cool things to get when you're ordering, a, a, especially a dually. Having that tow package already installed. Again, you could convert this from a fifth wheel to a gooseneck setup. Um, this truck will come with a gooseneck setup, so you don't have to worry about starting off with your gooseneck. But if you decide to go fifth wheel, we do have options and we do have uh, our parts department that could get you a fifth wheel hookup. The cargo switch on your left hand side or on the driver's side is that 110 plug-in, uh, 115 volts, max 400 uh, watts. Again, that switch I showed you underneath the driver or the, behind the steering wheel will turn that on when you need to use it. Also, there is a switch here that will turn on your cargo lights if needed two lights on the back end and one in the above the rear mirror um, rear window and those will turn on and it will actually shut up by itself after a few minutes so right now I'm gonna leave it on and it will it will shut up by itself this bed is fully spray bed line again just an awesome unit fully loaded I know I have a, a couple of people coming here today to actually look at this unit um, before I decided to do the video, once I brought it into detail, I got those calls right after. So that was kind of cool uh, with that feature here. So let's jump inside and go over the interior features. And coming in, one of the things you see right off the bat is that huge screen. So this is one of the one of my go-to's when it comes to the Rams is that huge screen. Again, that screen can be separated and it can be um, put into two different uh, sections. Um, that's if you want to do that. But again, you do have onboard navigation. Um, you do have Apple and Android capability. Uh, you could plug in your phone via Bluetooth. Again, you have your media. You have FM, AM, satellite radio. And of course auxiliary with your comfort you could do everything via touchscreen turn your heated seats on uh, your vented seats heated steering wheel adjust the temperature or you could do it manually with those buttons right here along the sides of that screen again i already mentioned uh, navigation so here is your different options here so you have your mirror dim the bed lowering mode so like i said it does have rear suspension so if you want to lower your suspension it will actually show you right here it's lowering the bed so right now it's dumping air out of that um, bed and it will say bed lowered completely lowering complete um, so with that you can back into your trailer once you're done you could turn that back on it will bring it back to normal height and i could actually feel that actually going up and of course, you do have your powered steps. So if in case you are running through a car wash or you, you need to have those steps out without opening those doors, you could come in, you could press this button. It will allow those steps to remain out. So if in case you wanna wash your vehicle, wash the, if you're too short and you wanna use that step to wipe down or wash down your roof, you could have those steps open so water doesn't come inside by opening the doors to enable those steps. Once you're done, you could disable that. So once you open the door, it will open automatically. And of course, when it comes to your surround view mirror or camera, this is what the surround looks like. So if anybody walks around here, you'll see it. If there's anything in your blind spot, you could see it. Even parking in your garage, you could see what's happening as well. So this is your different um, views here. So that's your backup camera. 
This is another view going straight down to your bumper pull hitch. This is your front view, another front view, but a different angle. And then this is the bed of the truck. So once you're backing into your trailer, you got that view right here. And of course, if you have a trailer on there and you want to see the two sides while you're driving, the trailer will be right in the middle here. And of course, your two sides, you can see what's happening right there. So cool features on here. And then they do have a trailer surround camera as well. So apart from that, we're going down here. We do have your um, integrated trailer brake system. This one does come with all trailer height setting. Um, you have your tow and haul, you got your um, exhaust brake. So you could do it full or you could do it automatic. So you have two different options here and you can turn it off. <clears throat> your parking sensors for rear and front, you could actually turn that off if you don't want to use it. I always still recommend people to keep it on. It helps a lot. You got six auxiliary switches here if you want to add different electronics to your vehicle, like light bars and all that stuff. You could actually take a little labeler and label those switches to know what each one goes for. And then actually, you know, turn those on when needed. And all those will connect through the battery underneath the hood. And the here is a nice little area here for coins or smaller items. You have the same charging as you have in the back, but the addition is your wireless charger but you have two USBs, a wireless charger, and of course a 110 switch in here. Tons of storage throughout this whole unit, and that's one good thing about um, RAM, is how they create all that space for you guys. And of course, in here, have a separate storage. More storage over here, glove compartment down here. This one does come with a sunroof. It does have the Uconnect feature as well. Again, it is a subscription you have to um, get for this unit. Again, you can remote start from your phone. You can check service records um, in terms of knowing when to go to, um, when to schedule your next service. If the vehicle, for some reason, is stolen, you could track those vehicle. You could track that vehicle down. Um, if you're in an emergency, you could call the police, fire, ambulance, whatever is necessary. If you just need assistance from your Uconnect agent, you could just go press assist. One of those agents will come directly onto um, your call. Well, it will, you will call them directly through your vehicle. They will know the type of vehicle it is. The VIN and everything will show up. It's kind of amazing how everything works. So that's that's how it works here. So with this particular unit, it, it, it has 30,504 miles. So tons of mileage on here. Um, right now it has a full tank of gas. We just have to top up the DAF fluid. But again, great unit for towing heavy equipment or for your business or for your personal use if you have a fifth wheel or we have tons of horse trailers here. We could get one to match this particular color. I see one right now, right here. But again, there's so much you could do with this vehicle for all those out there running, you know, hot shots or just, you know, ranching and stuff. This is a fully loaded unit. So if you guys are interested, feel, feel free to give me a call. My number is at the bottom of the screen. There's so much to talk about this unit, but in a video, I just don't want to go over, um, you know, with every single feature on here. So in case you guys purchase this vehicle and want more insight on different features, feel free to reach out to me. I'll video you guys. You guys could come in, test drive. And once you purchase, you know, I could go over every single thing for you during that time. But in the meantime, have yourself a wonderful week. I'll see you guys back here on Thursday for another video. But in the meantime, have yourself a wonderful week and a wonderful Christmas. Thank you very much.